Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In Bloodborne, let's talk about all of the bosses. Let's put them on a uh, tier list. I just beat the game, including the uh, the DLC. So let's talk about them while it's still fresh in my mind. And then we'll include the, uh, the Chalice Dungeon bosses, because I really enjoyed those. And then uh, the number one criteria for ranking this is going to be how much fun I had in playing it. Not going to be thinking about, like, uh, difficulty or music or anything like that. Alrighty, but let's go in alphabetical order. First we have Abhorrent Beast, one of the Chalice Dungeon bosses. Uh, we'll put him in great. I enjoyed playing him. I played him in the uh, kind of the classic Souls way, where I uh, dodge once and then smack him and then uh, get out of there and repeat. Amidala, story Amidala. I don't know if I would call her fun exactly, but she did leave an impression, very big. I had to use the overhead attack with the axe. Next, Beast Possessed Soul. He was okay, I guess. Forgettable, maybe. Another uh, Chalice Dungeon boss, I think, appears once in the, um, in the story. But yeah, not particularly strong, not particularly uh, scary. Okay, Bloodletting Beast Head Intact. Yeah, this was kind of a uh, forgettable boss as well. Just kind of like a generic big guy. Smack him with my axe, take him down. Uh, Blood Starved Beast, I'll put this in, would play now. I think this is one of the best bosses in the game. Very difficult, but very uh, balanced. And it feels, uh, you feel good playing them. Because you know, uh, if you're beating them, it's because you are uh, skilled. I can really feel that there. Uh, next, Brain Sucker, we'll put him in crap. They have that uh, attack which can stun you, and then they attack you, and then get rid of your um, your insight. Very annoying. Next, Celestial Emissary. That was funny to play, because they have all the little guys, and then they uh, you can just knock them down, and then attack the big guy. Did leave an impression on me. Not particularly fun, but it was funny. Alright, next, Cleric Beast. Put that in great. That's a good first boss for the game. Uh, next, Dungeon Amidala. This one I liked more than the, uh, the story one. Why did I like this one? I liked it because... Right, I played this one more at distance than the story one where I just got under. Played it at distance, waited for an opening, hit him, and then when we got to the later phases I did the, uh, the jump cheese thing. Okay, next we have the Dungeon Bloodstarved Beast. We'll also put that in Wood Play Now. <laughs> Functions the same, but has more HP, does more damage. Uh, so yeah, also very much enjoyed that one. Uh, next, Dungeon Emissary. This is like the, uh, the Celestial Emissary, but without the little guys, and so it was a forgettable battle. But I was grateful to not have such a difficult battle uh, to play in the dungeon. <laughs> Uh, what's this? Dungeon Ebriatas. You know what? I'm gonna put this in forgettable. I heard a lot about this boss being difficult, but then um, there's like a weak spot on her left side, and then I just used the uh, the rifle spear to stab her, and it was over pretty quickly, so yeah, not too difficult. Uh, but the Lauren Dark Beast, I like this one a lot. Very challenging, but I feel confident that I could uh, beat it if I were to play it now. Again, uh, getting under with the overhead attack, and then uh, kind of running away when it does the, uh, the charge attack. Running out the back, that can be good. Okay, next, Dungeon Rom. Eh, we'll put it in crap. I did not enjoy this, and it was tough. Although, there were the pillars that I could hide behind uh, for the, uh, the meteor attack. Uh, but yeah, just coming down to me and then the boss and kind of not leaving an opening for me to get in was annoying. Alright, here's the regular Ebriatus. Same thing here, we'll put him in forgettable. Forgotten Madman. I do not remember who that is, so we'll put that in forgettable. Uh, Father Gascoigne, that was a fun match. Put him in great. Good music. He's like the one guy whose uh, song I remember. And then, who's that? German? He was cool. He wasn't too difficult, but uh, he was cool to fight. 
Uh, let's see, headless bloodletting beast. I feel like that this was slightly more memorable than the uh, the one with a head. And this one I fought solo, so that felt more like a fight, but not too difficult. Next, Keeper of the Old Lords. Yeah, I like them. I don't know if I would want to play them now, but I did like that one. Lady Maria, that was a cool fight. Also wasn't that difficult, but uh, full, full of personality. Lawrence... Hmm, that was, yeah, we'll put it in forgettable. I don't do well against the, uh, the Amelia-type boss, but uh, he wasn't that bad, either. Living failures. Eh, I won't put him in crap, but forgettable. Once I found that I could also hide from the meteors in this stage, then that was over pretty quickly. Next, Lauren Silverbeast. I don't recall this boss. <laughs> so I guess we'll put him in forgettable. Alright, Ludwig. That was a cool boss. Cool uh, story. Cool kind of uh, development during the battle. Next, Maneater Boar. I'll put it under good. <laughs> Just like the other uh, regular enemy that we see out in the field, but uh, more HP. Not challenging, because by that point, you know, I had uh, fought them enough times that I could know their moveset, but yeah. Uh, Martyr Logarius. Put him in, would play now, one of my favorite bosses. And uh, he taught me to uh, parry, so grateful to him for that. Next, Murgo's Wet Nurse. That was okay. Not very difficult, but uh, yeah, looked cool. Uh, Miko Lash, we'll put him in good. I think most people would put him in uh, crap, but uh, I didn't really, uh, I wasn't too bothered by him. Next, Moon Presence. That was kind of forgettable, not that difficult. Although, no, it's got the cutscene, it's got the cool setting, so we'll put him in good, I guess. Yeah, I won't forget that uh, boss. Uh, ah, the One Reborn, we'll put that in crap. Did not enjoy the run back, did not enjoy having to kill the witches each time. This was very, very annoying overall. Uh, Orphan of Cost, we'll put that in wood play now. That was a fun boss to play. Dark Beast Parl. Uh, that was good, I guess. I had a lot more fun with the uh, the Lauren Dark Beast. Uh, next, Tumerian Descendant. Yeah, I like him, but I like the Elder more. The Elder has a bunch of cool looking attacks using the magic to create like different weapons and then uh, deceptively uh, difficult even though it was pretty slow. The Descendant was much more quick and kind of a more, um, I don't know, standard boss, but the Elder, that was a lot of fun. Uh, Rom in the story, uh, that was good, I guess, not crap like the, uh, the Chalice version. <laughs> ah, Shadow of Yarnum, this uh, triple boss. Really enjoyed them. That was a lot of fun to uh, play and beat. We'll put that in wood play now. Undead Giant with the cannon. Undead Giant. Uh, we'll put them all in good, I guess. I never really like ran into trouble playing them, but they weren't bad either, so yeah. Uh, Amelia, I guess we'll put her in good as well. Didn't love her, didn't hate her. Uh, Watchdog of the Old Lords, we'll put him in good. I thought he had too much HP, but uh, I didn't hate the battle. Uh, next, Watchers. Actually kind of forgettable. This is like the, uh, the big fat guys, sometimes they can have uh, three of them at once. Not too difficult, not very interesting. Uh, Witch of Hemwick. Uh, eh, not crap. We'll put him in good. Not very challenging, but interesting idea, I guess. And then Queen Yarnum. Um, we'll put him in great. She was fun, but not on the level of these other guys here. So, yeah, I wouldn't put her in uh, wood play now. 
But yeah, that is how I felt about all the bosses, including the Chalice Dungeon. And so the favorite bosses, I guess, would be the Bloodstarved Beast, the Lauren Dark Beast, Martyr Logaris, Orphan of Kos, Tumerian Elder, and the Shadows of Yarnum. All right, let me know uh, what bosses you liked or didn't like in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.